And we're here at Bush Gardens. What's the name of this town? This is a uh, town. The town? Oh, Williamsburg. Williamsburg. Bush Gardens, Williamsburg. Just getting started, and Pompeii is closed. All right, let's go to the next one. Over there. All it takes one basketball to win. Yeah, right. <laughs> I never win in those things. Now we're coming up to Apollo's chariot. They don't let me use the hold the camera. This is the big down over your legs. If you're not riding at this time, please take a step back. The gates are now closing. During your ride, please remain seated, keeping your hands and arms down and inside the train with your head back against the headrest. Please let go of your harness so it may be checked for you at this time. Join your voyage to the side on the wing of the Paul's chariot. We just rode that particular roller coaster. I have uh, ridden quite a bit of roller coaster in my time, and I would probably rate that one as a six out of ten. With no loops or anything. Um, it has some a couple areas where he felt some a uh, little bit of G's on the bellies. Uh, it has a decent amount of air time. But overall, no weight, so thumbs up. Definitely ride the that particular coaster. Trying to find some food. The Turkish delight. What we call the teacup, where you spin it in the center, and I call those sit and spin rides, which I don't care for them much anymore. I like the big roller coasters, but so far I can't take the camera on there, so I'm stuck with uh, uh, riding it without the sake of having you guys along. So I'll give you my reviews as I ride some of these coasters, and uh, we'll continue to move on. I think we're looking for something to eat. We bought the meal deal package where you get one entree meal every 90 minutes from any of the restaurants here so I think we're looking for a place to eat so let's move on now those particular rides I don't care for those anymore I just go for the coasters down here the balloon ride all right we're gonna go and check out Marco Polo's see what we can get in here for footage spaghetti pies desserts artesian pizzas Mediterranean salad Kids menu, chicken nuggets, fries, rotisserie chicken, Mongolian beef, Mongolian chicken, orange chicken, rice. Okay, there's some good stuffage there. Nice. Mm, so we got Marco Polo's, got some fried rice and some sort of Greek salad. I love pickles, I had a side of pickle. She's ordering the wife had an entree salad and a grapes for side and a fountain drink. So that's part of the meal. One meal every 90 minutes. One entree, one side, or dessert and a drink every 90 minutes. So it sounds like it's going to be a good deal. So let's check it out. Mm, let's try it out. Mm. 
Very good. Nice. Not spicy at all. Kind of a Greek flavor. Excellent. Excellent. Mm. Paper straw. Mm. That's <laughs> probably yeah, that and the German food over there is really good too. That's excellent. Very good. Well, let me get to eating. All right, we're gonna try this again with the Pantheon. Here we go. The Pantheon. Alright, coming up. Ah, there's no line, so no big wait. Pantheon. I give that an 8 out of 10. It's a slow short jerker uh, multiple electromagnetic acceleration points with uh, a pretty good uh, amount of air time and what I would call a uh, the way they do the banks and stuff it's it it kind of throws you for a loop because you think it's gonna go one way but it goes opposite to what the normal way that you would be leaning so it throws you and uh, it throws your senses in a matter of other words. So anyways, uh, you had a section over here where you extend down the first hill and go halfway up the big loop and then it backs on and goes up that top point up there for a, a reverse section where you're accelerating going backwards. So all in all, again, I give it an 8 out of 10. It's a, a, a quick ride. It's like a just over a minute roller coaster ride. So let's go on to the next one. Oh, we just got off the uh, Verboten. And uh, that was probably a 4 out of a 10. It's a pretty easy ride a good for a first timer. It has some uh, areas of it that are in the dark. So you have misdirection. Uh, of your senses and stuff and then that has a uh, a free fall in the tunnel they have you sit there for 10 or 15 seconds and free fall you about 15 foot and through electromagnetic uh or there's a couple of uh, electromagnetic acceleration strips but yeah it's pretty good for uh, uh an entry level good one for uh people that are rode one or once or twice all right here's the gate of dark coaster brand new one so we're gonna try the dark coaster. Again, I can't have to put the camera away, but I'll give you a review afterwards. I just wrote the dark, the dark coaster where I just wrote wait about 40 minutes due to technical difficulties only been open for about a few less than a week 
and it's all an indoor totally encapsulated coaster it's about a three out of a ten but if you want to get out of the heat it's a good one to get out of the heat it's basically in the dark and it's no overturning just turns and whoop de doos so off to the next uh, I'm looking in distance oh there's another high roller coaster it's probably the last big one I'm not sure what the name is but we're heading that way well that's gonna wrap up today's video on Bush Gardens Williamsburg which I plan to make a little mini series we appreciate if you like subscribe and hit that notification bell until the next episode this is Sealander take care Start off.